Hello, and thanks for joining us today. In this video, we will provide important information on the changes to the official USB 4 compliance test fixtures available from Wilder Technologies. In August of this year, Wilder introduced an updated set of USB 4 fixtures that have been approved by the USB Implementers Forum, or USBIF. Significant changes to the overall design of the fixtures has some impact on how tests are physically configured and what accessories are needed to perform testing. Here we have the full set of new USB 4 fixtures for both TX and RX testing. The first of many notable features in the new design are the replacement of SMP connectors in the design with SMA connectors. This change removes the need for SMP to SMA adapters and or cables to access signals coming from a device under test. This change to SMA connectors also means that there is no longer direct access to both lanes from a device and a fixture flip or device flip will be needed to test both lanes. For TX testing, there is little impact other than the need to flip the connector for the testing of both lanes. On the RX side of testing is where we see the bulk of changes to test configuration. For RX TP3 prime testing, the RX test fixture used for TP3 prime not only has the change to SMA connectors for signal access, but there is the additional type C connection that needs to be made. Previously, only one cable was needed to connect the RX fixture to the microcontroller. These new fixtures implement the use of a passive and active cable connection from the fixture that then is routed to a dual input fixture at the USB 4 microcontroller. This new configuration is used to account for devices that would have a retimer in the path between controller and DUT, where the retimer would prevent low-level messages from being passed to the USB 4 device during testing. Wilder will be including an active and passive cable in their fixture kit to facilitate this testing requirement. Also new in this set of USB 4 fixtures is the addition of ISI channel fixtures that are used for TP3 calibration and testing. The kit includes a 9.4 inch ISI channel for USB 4 Gen 2 and an 8 inch ISI channel for USB 4 Gen 3. These new ISI fixtures will also need to be characterized and included as part of the measurement channel for adherence to loss budget constraints outlined in the USB 4 specification and CTS. The reference channel to be characterized starts at the DC blocks at the signal source and includes the RF cables, the ISI fixture, and the USB Type-C cable. This effectively puts the measurement reference point for TP3 RX testing at the end of the USB Type-C cable, with the TF3 loss being negligible and assuming that the loss from the cables connecting the scope to the TF3 fixture will be de-embedded. These budget limits were previously updated in the June update of the CTS to version 1.03. We'll have a video uploaded to tech.com soon that will go over these CTS changes in more detail. Here we see the updated setup for RX TP3 testing, including the new ISI fixture. These new USB 4 fixtures from Wilder will replace the older SMP fixture set and will be required for use in compliance certifications. Wilder expects these new fixtures to be available in October of this year and is working hard to meet the inevitable rush that will come as a result of this new fixture design. For more information on these new fixtures when they become available, please visit www.wilder-tech.com. We hope you found this video helpful and thank you again for joining us today.